Coach JC here with Fit First Responders to get you fit for duty and fit for life. Today, we're gonna come at you with what we call our movement prep. All right, you can check my team out right now. We have some of the finest and the bravest first responders in the nation right here to help you win. All right, why is the movement prep important, first of all? This movement prep we use out here at Fit First Responders prior to our warm-ups to get our body flowing, our blood flowing, and to warm our muscles up. It is also used by many first responders on the job. A lot of you as a first responder, you sit a lot. It's a great idea to jump up, do this movement prep throughout the day to get the blood flowing and keep your muscles loose. All right, the other way that you could use this movement prep for a lot of you beginners out there is this could be your starter workout. All right, this could be a workout for many of you. It combines flexibility, mobility, strength work, and all the components you need to be fit for duty and fit for life. You guys ready? All right, let's roll. Spread it out, team. Spread it out, team. We're going to start right now with a stationary movement. All right, you can, uh, you can pick, pick whoever you think is the best looking and just follow them. All right, so I'm going with you. No, just joking. All right, so here's what we got. First movement. We're moving five and four and three and two. It's the jumping jack. Ready? Hit it. All right, we're going to go 10 seconds just to give you an understanding of what you need to do on the jumping jack. I want everything you do to be intentional and to be meaningful. Even though it's still a movement prep and a warm-up, notice slight bend in the elbow, get them hands up, use your hips and thighs to push out. Again, we're only going for 10 seconds time. Once we're done with the jumping jack team, we are now going to gate swings. I would like everybody to give me five reps. Five reps on the gate swings. Swinging it open, sitting down into it. Here we go for five. All right, you're jumping your feet out. All right, it's not about how wide you get. Jump your feet out, sit down into it. All right, you're warming up your groin and your hip flexors. Once you're done with five reps there. All right, we are going to crossing jack. All right, ready, hit it. Crossing jack, all right. This is an upper body warm up movement and also a strengthening movement. I want you to be aggressive, flex and extend that chest every time. Crisscross your feet every time. Good, now we can really tell which first responders have the dance moves in the house. Some of you not so much, now stick with your day job, baby. All right, you're doing good. Again, we're only going for 10 seconds and that's time. All right, now we're going to the counterbalance squat. Counterbalance squat, arms raise up as you descend. I want five reps, ready, hit it. On the counterbalance squat, I want a hip width stance. Hip width stance, you're gonna shoot your hips back first. Arms raise up as you descend, fire out of the hole, out of the bottom, squeeze your glutes at the top, squeeze your quads at the top. Now we're gonna do what we call really our movement. If you have space, you can move during these. Right now, we're just gonna do them in place. Exercise number one in our movement, we're gonna do high knee with the skip. High knee with the skip, driving that knee up, opposite hand, ready first responders, hit it. Here we go. High knee with the skip. All right, I want you to drive that knee up, loosening up the hips, knee up, toe up, heel up, butt cheek to face cheek with your arm action. Great movement to help you increase speed, but also to get your heart rate up, upper body and lower body warm up. Looking good, team. Yep, and time. Second exercise, heel up, or what we call butt kickers. Stand up tall, flexing that heel to your glutes. Nice and hard, ready, go, 10 seconds. All right, you're warming up your quads and your hamstrings. Again, we're going for 10 seconds for time sake today but you guys can go anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds depending on your fitness level. Time, good, next one. We're going leg kick, no skip. Leg kick, no skip. Ready, go. Good, right here, you're flexing your toe to your shin, kicking the leg up, warming up your hamstring. All right, as you can notice, some of them are a little more flexible than others. Don't try to over-exaggerate in the beginning. After 10 seconds, like right now, we're gonna start to throw a skip in. Let's get it, team. Skip in and on out. Again, this is a movement prep, all right? Your intensity level depends on your fitness level right now. Start slow, build up. It's not about uh, per perfection right off the bat. You're not trying to be a hero right now in here. You're a hero on the streets every day. Time, all right? But start to build it up. Last and final one. You guys are sweating already? What? <laughs> High knees straight up. High knees straight up, all right? Arm action involved, driving those knees. Ready, ready, hit it. High knees straight up, again. Different than the skip, now we're one after the other. Driving that knee up with your abs hard, snapping it down with your glutes. Come on, five more seconds, pumping the arms. Butt cheek to face cheek, faster and harder. Two, one, and time. All right, now our last part of our movement prep, we are now gonna hit the deck on the ground for a little ground-based mobility on your backs, team. We're gonna roll to V-sit, I want five reps. 
Ready? And hit it. Right here, you're loosening up your back and your hamstrings. You're going to see the first responders tuck their knees in, legs all the way over, and then they come up, widen their stance, and reach. I want it a little dynamic. That means move through it. Don't do it too slow. Once you're done with five reps there, I want you to face up crossover. Arms around the T, make it dynamic. Arms around the T, make it dynamic. Kick it on over to the opposite hand. I just want you to get two each side for time's sake. Two each side. Shoulder blades remain in contact with the ground. Both legs remain straight the entire time. Pick that leg up, make it dynamic, kick it over to the opposite hand. Last and final one. Let's roll it on over. We're going to go knee drive to armpit. Face down, arms out in a T. All right, and you're alternating, driving your knee up towards your armpit. Ready? Hit it. This is the face down knee drive to armpit. Force the shoulders down. Again, this is hip mobility and strength. Very important for you as a first responder, and we will be talking about that in future videos. But right now you can see them. Shoulders remain in contact with the ground, driving those knees up. Good. First responders, jump it up. Bring it on in, team. Bring it on in. Clap it on up. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. So wherever you're at right now, just get started. That's your movement prep, a basic warm-up, but you can use it as even a strengthening part and even a workout for you. All right, we love you guys. This is Coach JC with Fit First Responders, and we'll get at you next time. If you want to win more in your fitness, nutrition, and life so that you can be fit for duty and fit for life, visit fitfirstresponders.org.